Oh, it's time, it's time, it's time. We're gonna get some mob heads today in Minecraft. If you are new to this game and you're confused how I'm gonna do this, you need to get a trident with the channeling enchantment on it. What channeling does is when I throw the trident, it's going to summon a lightning bolt. Ready? Um, is the thunderstorm over? Huh? Oh, it's back, it's back. Let's try it again. What the heck? Skeleton. Oh, it worked! Well, why did it not work in there? Okay, regardless, the point is, when you have your channeling trident, you want to go find a creeper and hit him with a lightning bolt. This is because when you hit a creeper with a lightning bolt, you get a charged creeper, which we can use to get mob heads. Ready for this? Look at that, charged creeper. Oh, what's going on back here? Hello, what's going on? <laughs> Once I have this charged creeper, I can have him come over here and blow up these other mobs. When he blows up other mobs, we get their mob head. So go ahead, Mr. Creeper. Do your, do your magic. Hey, mobs, come here. Oh, he died. No. All right, do it. Do it. Blow up. Blow up. Do it. They didn't even die. Oh, that's a good reminder. Make sure your mobs are on low health when you do this. Oh, we got two of these guys right over here. Come here. You. I'm going to borrow you. Come here. And you over here. Okay, creeper, blow up. There we go, they're dead, and look at that, there's a creeper head right here for me to pick up, if I can make some space for it. Boom, look at that, creeper head. Now, did I get a zombie head too? I should've, I killed a zombie, right? No? Okay. I swear a zombie just died there, but regardless, we got one head. Now keep in mind, these lightning storms are kind of rare, so if you're gonna do this, try and get as many as you can while you can. So, Creeper over here, I need you again. We gotta make use of our time and our lightning storm. Yup! Okay. Try it again. There we go. Now, I will bow and arrow the zombie. Oh, too much. Uh, on the foot. Ah, oh, too strong. Come here, buddy. Come on, give me some skeleton heads. Do it. Blow up. Do it. Do it. Yes, did I get one? Where'd it go? I got one! No, no, don't blow it up! No! Got it. Wait, no, I don't. Got it. Bada bing. Where's the other one? One thing to note, you can only get mob heads using this method for creepers, skeletons, and zombies. For, like, wither skulls or, like, any other kind of weird skull you can find in the game, there's certain methods to do it that aren't involving the trident. Kind of off topic, I'm gonna go get a name tag, because if I could get a charged creeper and, like, put it in, like, like an exhibit, like a glass container, that'd be really cool, wouldn't it? I need a name tag! Do I got one? I do! Okay, I got one right here. And we're gonna name him Bolt, because, get it, he's, like, electrocuted with an electric bolt. I guess that kind of kind of makes sense. <laughs> One other tip for you guys, if you want to get lightning storms more often, make sure you do not sleep. When you sleep, the weather cycle actually resets. That might not make a lot of sense, but just trust me, there's math to this. Major stonks, major stonks. Basically, in every single seed, there's a set amount of time until the weather will change. When you sleep, that timer resets. So if you were like about to get a rainstorm, but you sleep, it goes back down to being far away again. Does that make sense? Are there any creepers out here? Yes, there is one right there. Mr. Creeper, I need you for one final experiment. Can I borrow you? Nice. I have some trap doors here. I'm gonna make a little trap for this guy, ready? Oh, get it! Oh, oh, more mob heads, though, I guess. <laughs> there we go, one more right here. And we have zombie heads now. Look at the devastation it makes. So many holes now. Bruce, what are you doing down here? I'll let you live. <laughs> Gotta get this right. Creeper, come here. No, it just turned- Oh, what a shame. Well, the mobs are mad at each other, but we got a few mob heads, so you know what? I can't complain. It was a good run. Did lightning strike my bridge? Why is there a hole here? I wish Minecraft let you, like, summon lightning with the tridents. Like, if I threw it, a lightning storm, like, comes. Wouldn't that be so much cooler? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just spitballing, man. Well, anyways, there's a reason we got these mob heads, and that's because I want to make a cool build with them today. Not like a build of mob heads, that'd be pretty interesting, but not that. Rather, I want to make like a store or a shop or something that's themed around either selling these or collecting these or whatever. But basically, this world is over five years old. This giant kingdom here, it's full of shops, stores, houses, and all this fun stuff. 
Long story short, I'm always trying to think of new ideas for buildings in here, and why don't we try and think of an idea involving these bad boys? Now, my first idea was to make a hunter's shop, but I actually made one of these over here, like last week. See this house here with the really cool bridge going across? It's kind of like a meat shop for like hunting animals and stuff, like there's meat inside the buckets and stuff. Some smeared blood around the place. So my next idea is why don't we make an exterminator shop? Well, not a shop, an exterminator. Because if you think, there's no bugs in Minecraft besides, you know, like the bugs that make things glitch out. But seriously, imagine like a mob exterminator. So today, I kind of want to try and tackle that idea. But first off, I want to go see how my villager breeding is doing. Last episode, I actually made that thing up there and I want to see if the babies are popping out. Oh, look at that pretty sunset. Oh, I love my custom sky. Hello, guys. How you doing? How's the weather up here? Is it nice? Oh, you trying to get out? No, no, no. Come here, come here. Eat some carrots. Make baby for me. I'm like 95% sure that this farm is working, but just to be safe- Whoopsies. <laughs> but just to be safe, I want to make sure they're actually doing what they have to do, because I saw them breed once, but they haven't bred again since, I don't think, so, uh... Go ahead, make baby. I'll stand here on the corner and be creepy. Go ahead. <laughs> do your thing. Oh, they're loving each other, alright? Baby, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Baby time! I saw a baby! Right in there, right underneath your robe. That sounds really strange. All right, cool, the farm is working, now go. Go get pushed down the hole. Yep, you know what to do. Go, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> and I'll follow suit. <laughs> Where are you? There you are, little buddy. Oh, this thing's working out great. Look at all the villagers here. I didn't even notice that. I guess it has been working. There's so many villagers around the place. I love when my farms work. All right, I'm getting carried away. Let's get back to our mob exterminator plan. First step, I am in a separate creative world because I want to try and test out what kind of things I can make that would fit the whole exterminator theme. Now, something I do for all my builds is I usually use like these containers full of something. So for example, if I want like a container of like meat, I'd use like netherrack or like red coral. But what kind of block here could look like zombie flesh? Because obviously for skeletons, I could just use like a bone block and that's like a pile of skeletons. Maybe red sand? Looks like a bunch of grounded up rotten flesh. Looks kind of gross when I think about it like that. <laughs> Here's all the best ones, but I think like the red sand or red sandstone is the best. That's, yeah, that's probably the best. Now what about for spiders? Could we like crush up spiders and put it in, you know, that might be a little bit too much. Just like a block of coal, I guess. <laughs> Now this also could be a great place to store mob loot. So for example, we could have like shelves here for barrels and put like rotten flesh inside of these things and easy storage. I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now. But that being said, I think we have our basic ideas. So let's go back to our world and start building. But first, disco break! If you're new, just go with it. enjoying that a little too much. All right, let's find a place to put this building. Now I'm going over here towards like the emptier side of the kingdom because if you guys are new, I'm trying to fill up this kingdom as fast as I can. I want to try and move out of here before the new cave update, which is going to be, I think, next holiday. So I got a good like six months to fill this kingdom up. So all this grassland over here, perfect for building. Now here's an interesting spot. There's like a little crevice here that leads to a small valley. We could put something down here. We also could build above the valley, like up on these little platforms up here or here. Or I could just go build right here in the rest of the flat land. But I actually think a shop right up here above the valley would look really cool. Then we could have like some other kind of shop down here in the valley with like a cool little like mini bridge or staircase to go up and down. It'll be pretty cool. I like the location. I like the real estate. Let's do it. Now something else I'm gonna actually try today is a new kind of building style. I shouldn't say style because it's all gonna be like medieval themed, but on most of my buildings, as you'll see, there's no like basement. It's just like the building starts where the ground starts. But I'm thinking we use some cobblestone as like a base, then the house starts a little bit higher up in the air. So like here's the cobble base, then we'll have the actual house like start up here, and to get into the house we'll have like a little bit of uh, almost like a balcony staircase thing off the edge. I have this horrible habit of just like saying what I'm gonna do before I actually do it, so I'm just gonna shut up and go build and I'll show you guys what I came up with. <laughs> All right, so here's a basic idea. There's like a big staircase, a little bit of this balcony thing I was talking about before, and then we walk up into our doorway up here. So it's like an elevated house, and I think it looks really cool. I mean, the staircase is also really massive, which is kind of awkward, but I'm just gonna roll with it because 
why not? <laughs> it's Minecraft, it's not that serious. Come on, let's have some fun here. Oh, I missed that shot. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Right in the foot. All right, small update. We have some fencing down. The first floor is like basically getting done. There's no details in here yet, but just like the floor. There's a little staircase down to the cellar, which I'm using out of the cobblestone basement. So I'm kind of making use of this whole new extra layer here. Um, I don't know. I What do you guys think? I mean, I can't hear you live, obviously. But tell me in the comments, do you like the basement idea? Is it like too awkward? Let me know because if you guys like it, I might start building like this more often. Again, first time ever doing that. So I don't know. Is this a little bit too much? Oh, wait, I can probably do something else. Should I bring the logs down like into the cobblestone like that? Actually, that's not half bad. Well, long story short, I'm still heavy at work on this project, so I'm gonna get some more work done, and I'll come back with a more finished house. Okay, I was just building, and it started raining again. Is it possible we can go get more mob heads right now? I don't want to jinx it, but maybe? If we hear thunder, we're gonna go for it. My hopes are fading away. The sun is rising over there. No thunder yet. Well, let me just do a test. Is it possible? Nah, it ain't working. Well, actually, you're supposed to hit a mob for it to work. So let me actually go test this out. Any mobs around? I gotta do a test. I'm so sorry, Bruce. I must do- Wait, you're not Bruce. That's Bruce over there. Who are you? Well, didn't work. <laughs> Be free, stranger. Be free. All right, back to work. If I hear thunder, I'll let you guys know. By far, the most satisfying sound is when you're indoors during a Minecraft rainstorm. Like, listen to this. I go inside here, just bouncing off the roof. If you disagree, you're wrong. All right, I think the outside of the house is totally done. Tons of cool details, tons of little small trinkets I threw in there. Looks pretty nice. But now it's time to get the bee out of my house. Why you might, yeah, get out of here. Now it's time to do the inside of this house because I have two staircases now. You saw the basement, it's a little bit bigger now. Put a bed down here. Then I made a second floor here with the extra space from the roof. It's kind of empty. But yeah, we gotta put some things down on three floors, so that'll be fun. But first off, I am picturing the first floor really displaying a lot of, like, storage. So, like, the best things can be on top of these barrels. Let's get our mob heads out and put them right over here. So in here can be, like, the zombie heads. I'll put, like... Ah, should I do all of them right here? Would that look good if I just did it like that? That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? So these are the zombie skulls. We'll make some more barrels and put them, like, over here for, like, skeleton skulls. This build is going to be an absolute mosh pit of just barrels, but it's going to look so cool and so immersive, so I'm down with it. Whoopsies. Honestly, I'm a little sad that I have to place down all my mob heads here because I kind of want some for, like, my cave house. But in the same breath, it's really going to make the immersion just, like, off the charts, so I'm just going to roll with it. But here's our first floor. Maybe I'll add in, like, something else in the corners. I like to add some trap doors around to make it look like it's almost like extra like storage. I know it doesn't really make sense, but it kind of just looks like an extension of the barrel. So I like putting these around the place. Now we're going to put the mob loot, like the rotten flesh, the bones and all that kind of stuff, probably upstairs. And this will be like our extra storage space. So we'll have a lot more barrels here, like totally stacked up. Looks all right, looks all right. Now I got some item frames just to kind of throw here on the side so you know what is in where. So I'll do like rotten flesh in here. I'll put like, I'll put bones in here eventually, but for now I'll just put a rotten flesh symbol. Now for the downstairs, I'm thinking we have this be like the living quarter of the shop owner. So I'll have more storage here, of course, but I'll also have things like a bed, a little flower pot for the guy because he has a soft side, of course. And bada bing, bada boom, that is an absolutely perfect mob loot store. Again, there are some small things I will add in later, but in general, this is like 99.9% .9 done. And if I ever get more mob heads, I will put these down in here as well. So I'm gonna call it there. That is a completed build for the day. Look at that building in all its glory. I also gotta extend these roads to the rest of the city. Like, I love my kingdom, it's so amazing, but I made the dumbest choice doing custom made roads. I could've just done like all path blocks, but I said, I'll make a really fancy road, and now it's so annoying when I make a new build. <laughs> Dude, totally off topic, my kingdom feels so lively now. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get yourself hurt? Get down from there. 
But what I was saying is this place is just so alive. Last episode, I made this villager breeder up there in the sky, and villagers have been popping out of there into this water and just populating the place. And like, look at it. There's like families. There's gatherings. It's going to cause so much lag on this world, which I'm going to hate. But it's so fun now walking around because there's just action. It's so lively. I love it. But guys, that's going to be it from me today. If you want to see more videos in this world, I post them every single Friday. But we're going to go and get to the comment of the day. Every single episode, I pick my favorite comment from last episode, and I put it up in this giant rainbow staircase called the Comment Rainbow. So on that note, let's go get the comment of the day. And today, in the Comment Rainbow, we have a new comment by someone who has been here for a while. And this very nice individual's name is... Great Dynamics, and Great Dynamics said, Alternate title, Farzy dies in five-year-old Minecraft world with OP armor. Not clickbait, <laughs> cops called, you won't believe what happened next. If you guys missed it last time, I died. Is there a baby down here in the pool? Oh, no. But yeah, guys, thanks for all the support. The kingdom's coming out great. We're building cool things, having fun, and most importantly, helping people like you watching. So I hope you're enjoying, and I hope you stick around. So on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.